Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to walk through uploading the Cloudmersive Virus Scan API to MuleSoft's AnyPoint Exchange using the Open API specification available on the Cloudmersive website. This will allow you to set up high-speed in-memory virus scanning through MuleSoft with custom content threat detection capabilities. We can start off on the Cloudmersive website. From the home page, let's click on the search icon and type MuleSoft into the search bar. In our results, we'll see an article called Getting Started with Cloudmersive MuleSoft Connector, and we can go ahead and click on that. This page gives a brief overview of all the steps we'll need to take to publish any Cloudmersive API on the MuleSoft Exchange. It also allows us to download open API specifications directly. If we scroll to the bottom of this page, we can click on Download Spec under the Virus Scan API header and we'll automatically download our OpenAPI specification file. Now let's head over to the MuleSoft AnyPoint platform in our web browser. We can do a lot of different things in here, but we're just going to use this as a way to publish and host our API so we can use it in the MuleSoft desktop application. Let's open the menu in the top left corner of the page and click on the Exchange tab. As we can see, there is already a version of this API published in MyExchange, and we're going to go through the steps to create another version with the exact same outcome. Let's go ahead and click on the Publish New Asset button. From here, the first thing we should do is give our new asset a name. Next, let's click on the Asset Types dropdown and select the REST API option. We could use the HTTP API option as well, but the REST option will make it easiest to upload our OpenAPI specification file. Let's now select the Upload an OAS method. Once we do that, we'll have the option to select our OpenAPI specification from our downloads. Once our file is uploaded, the main file details will fill out automatically and we can keep stable selected next to lifecycle state. We can now click publish. When the publishing process is complete, we'll enter our published asset page in MuleSoft Exchange. From here, we can look at a summary and review our endpoints. We should see a list of API endpoint paths with different functions, starting with basic and advanced file scanning and extending all the way down to cloud storage scanning. If we want, we can download a Ramble version of our file here, or we can incorporate this asset into our MuleSoft desktop application directly from any point exchange and use it that way. We're going to quickly run through the second option. Let's now open up our MuleSoft desktop application. Let's click File and select the option to create a new Mule project. Let's give our file a name, and then let's click Finish. In order to incorporate our newly published Exchange asset, let's click on the Open Exchange button in the top left area of the application. This will bring up all the assets we've published in our AnyPoint Exchange, and from here, we can click on the asset we've just created. We can review that everything looks good, and then we can click on the Add to Project option in the top corner of the page. Once we do that, we'll see a new module in our Mule palette called Virus API, all one word. Now we can click and drag iterations of the Cloudversive Virus Scan API directly into our file and build workflows with advanced virus scanning services. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more demonstrations and tips around the Cloudversive API platform.